And let's break this down for you for a moment. The NBA owners meeting tomorrow. There are 30 of them in Dallas. It'll take 16 yes votes to approve a relocation to Seattle. 23 yes votes to approve the Hanson and Balmer team to become part of the league. If those are all rejected, that's going to leave the Maloof brothers with one more option. And that's the Sacramento group that KJ has formed. It'll be the Maloof's move. Of course, Sacramento Kings fans know that has been unpredictable in the past. Here's a look at the Maloof's legacy up until now. The year was 2000. These were the Maloof's at the start of the millennium, drawing applause and awards from a Sacramento school board wearing suits and ties and bright smiles. 2002 and on the court, the Kings were perennial playoff contenders. Times were good. Arco was alive. How lucky can one guy be? On TV, the brothers were boasting they were billionaires. But by 2006, they were backing out of an arena deal, just as voters were deciding on a sales tax to pay for it. Our preference has always been to stay here in Sacramento and try to get something done here. Years passed. The brothers continued to smile at Sacramento fans, though they tried to move to Anaheim. The NBA forced them to stay when Mayor Kevin Johnson proposed an alternative ownership plan. I think it's... Uh... Hogwash. Tell Ron Burkle that he can go back to where he came from. The Maloof mantra became, we won't sell. I don't care how much money you give me. I don't want to sell it. In 2012, who can forget Gavin Maloof in tears following that handshake agreement? An arena deal finally seemed real. I'm just a little emotional. It's been a long time, 13 years, as you know. <laughs> Two months passed. Point is that there was never a deal. He accused me of backtracking, but we all knew that there was heavy lifting to be done. The Maloof's emotional roller coaster, from celebrated to secluded, could this be the last we see of them? I gotta go, fellas. I can't talk. What do you want to tell people in Sacramento? We know George Maloof is in Dallas. Of course, he's there promoting the Seattle group's bid. But if they're rejected and he's left with one option, Sacramento, what will he do? That remains to be seen.